we have grandmaster shondipan chondo with us uh, who has defeated the asian junior champion i am rahul vs in a wild game can you please tell us what was going on well i knew this exchange sacrifice that uh, this is supposed to be better for black but uh, i did not really check uh, the details and i was bit surprised that he went for it because he could have taken dn to e5 instead of knight g6 and uh, i think it is about equal and uh, but he um, uh, took the challenge and uh, always it felt like black has uh, very reasonable compensation but the position is tricky so you never know and uh, at the end i managed to find this plan of bishop f6 bishop g5 with bishop on e4 so i played this g3 g into f2 and after th f2 pawn got exchanged i thought uh, generally speaking e4 might be quite a good square for the bishop like a long term thing uh, it is protecting d5 and itself is supported and very centrally placed but saying that uh, this bishop f6 bishop g5 i just got uh, in time and uh, then the position looks close to winning unless uh, i unless we miss something yesterday also you had an absolutely wild game against harsha bhartakoti where uh, everything was going like haywire so what what was going on well it is like uh, a very critical moment was when i played knight b5 and when i went knight b5 for queen b6 i did not see anything clear but it was very hard for me to imagine that uh, this uh, ca like uh, black can survive this it felt like uh, something has to happen and in fact um, i used a lot of time but i just could not find find the way and in fact what i played i it is not even clear what i missed because i even saw till uh, after i take on knight d5 knight d7 is coming but i i was just not able to see any alternative and i was trying to guess one of the variation to choose where i was hoping that something might be there i just chose uh, the wrong one but saying that the correct move a3 bishop e7 followed by queen e2 and uh, i stopped a3 bishop e7 queen e2 i thought there is no uh, direct attack on e7 after he takes on b5 but there is this bishop into f5 just piece set idea in this order and it is so strong it is probably objectively winning for white but it is like it was a tough one um and uh, i thought for a long time i just could not find it so i can't <laughs> call myself unlucky really just uh, i was not able to find this idea on the other hand uh, i was right with my feeling that there has to be something but then again uh, if he had gone queen e5 instead of knight b5 i uh, instead after knight b5 instead of queen b6 even then my feeling was that uh, white is better but th there i was wrong because computers uh, seems to indicate uh, uh, in certain ways uh, black is uh, holding and even probably black is better there or uh, or at least black is surviving so somewhere i was right somewhere i was wrong and in the game i was completely wrong so <laughs> i i lost it 21 years ago the previous edition of asian championship took place in india which you participated so what is the significance of this event taking place in india and uh, what is the difference uh, you notice in all these years uh well it is very nice first of all that uh, it is uh, taking place in india after uh, so many years uh but uh, we have to see the time it is uh, just a time when we are just coming out of covid and uh, things are just slowly normalizing and uh, that is probably the reason we did not get uh, so many uh, strong international participants there are of course uh, many federations participating but a lot of the best players from other countries are not here but saying that uh, over the years indian chess has become so strong the indian players there are so many indian uh, strong indian players participating here and also the lower rated players can't be underestimated as we all know in india Uh, so yeah it's a it's a very strong tournament and uh, hopefully the next time india gets to hold the asian championship is not so far away and it will be even stronger waka students are battling out on the top board uh, dion and pragananda and you are also one of the trainers at waka so what do you say, have to say about it yeah, it's nice it's uh, nice to um, uh, see them uh, do well and uh, 
for me uh, it would be nice I, I have not yet seen the game actually but uh, I hope uh, they are playing an interesting game Today is a good day that uh, you won the game and uh, your good friend Shuju Shekhar Ganguly won the 28th Bangkok Chess Club Open so what do you have to say about it? Yeah, you just told me. I was uh, very pleasantly surprised. I uh, saw that he is kind of crawling back and uh, he's uh, picking up some points after not a very good start. But then uh, he won this tournament. I, d I, I did not expect that he was actually playing for a... Um, uh, I mean, he had chances of winning the event. Okay, it, it's very nice and it also shows, uh, what can I say, experience that... Uh, uh, some people would uh, lose uh, their motivation perhaps after uh, how he was placed uh, in the around the middle of the tournament but uh, yeah he kept patience he was patient till the end and uh, he he got a um, uh, great result nakamura or nepomniashi who do you think will win the fisher random world championship finals today ah, okay to be honest i have not been following uh, uh, almost i have not been following at all uh, but at some point, I hope to hope to catch up. Who will win? <laughs> I have no. I, I did not even think about it. I mean, I uh, just no clue really. Thank you, Shundipan, for your valuable time. I wish you all the best for the rest of the tournament. Thank you very much, Shahid.